Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, and particularly Kentuckians and Masons, I have a special message for you. And that message is, I am not anti-Mason. I want you to know that I know my American history. And while the Masons were not for me, I was asked a long time ago uh, by Mr. Riggs uh, to join the Bradford Lodge, which is out here in Independence, Kentucky. And I demurred. I said, nah, I, I, I'm involved in enough things. He even gave me the Mason's book. I mean, I, I got the book. But I, it just wasn't for me. Now, I want everybody to know that I know my American history. I know the place that Masons uh, have been in. I know the Morgan scandal way back when. I know the history of Masonry, anti-Masonry, all of it. I know the accusations against them. I also know that George Washington was a Mason. Andrew Jackson was a Mason. I don't have an issue with Masons. They're adult. They want to have a secret society. They don't bother anybody. They don't want to commit any crimes. So be it. However, I am also somebody who is part of my platform thinks that we should have a special standard that if somebody is guilty of molesting a child sexually or abusing that child in a very terrible physical manner, I mean, just, I mean, outrageous abuse, including sexual abuse, that we ought to have the death penalty. I don't understand why we don't have the death penalty for someone who destroys a child's life. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm not talking about under the accusation. I'm talking about where we know it for certain. For certain. I don't want to kill anybody who's innocent. That's the way I, I, I believe this strongly. And I can't stand creepiness. I just can't stand it. There's some creepy stuff. Okay, for example, I spoke out against the Catholic Church in their handling of the parish pre, or the priest and abuse. I was at Dieter's, Benzinger, Lavelle, now DBL Law, when all that stuff went down. I was a law clerk and a young lawyer. And you know what they did? They just moved the priests around. It was awful. It was absolutely awful how the church handled that. Now, I also will say that just because they mishandled the Catholic uh, priest issue, which is unforgivable, it's unforgivable, is that I don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, when you look back in history, let's set aside the Spanish Inquisition, all the other scandals, come on. Catholic Church in education, Catholic Church in uh, uh, health care, hospitals, so forth and so on. I'm, I'm not one of these people that condemn the whole Catholic Church because of the Catholic uh, abuse. But that stuff's creepy, really creepy. Then... I got involved in a matter involving our local bishop, and I got communications from a priest who's a heterosexual priest, and he says that my opinions of gay priests and pedophilia rampant is true. I mean, this guy backed me up. Now we have the Boy Scout scandal. The Boy Scout, isn't that awful? The magnitude of the Boy Scout scandal? Are you kidding me? Now. Over the weekend, I received information about an organization, but I never knew, heard about this group, D. Mole. Now, I didn't know about the Masons, D. Mole International, named after, apparently, who was the last uh, uh, knight, okay? <laughs> so, anyway, I start checking it out, and I start reading it, and this is uh, uh, Knights Templar, one of the, the last Knights Templar, and... It's creepy. It's creepy. And um, I'm going to give you this picture that I, that I pulled out, as well as uh, some of these, these people who had their kid. Now, here's what Demolay is. Now, they are a chapter which claims all these wonderful things, patriotism, filial, cleanliness. I mean, their mission statement's great. Well, so is the Catholic Church. So is the Boy Scouts. All these Missions statements are great. And what I posted was that uh, Thomas Massey was one of these, and somebody referred to him as dad. They have this weird thing where you get dad and mom. But what this organization is, is it's for 12-year-old boys to 21-year-old boys, and 
they do it's a it's a it's a junior secret society of the masons so to speak and you can't argue with the mission statement but what i found out online is there's some creepy stuff going on and secret society with males and this is this was my uh, opinion and it was all oh, you're anti-mason so, some people said well you're you're really hurting some of your base going after masons i don't go after the masons i'm going after this group it creeps me out now let me tell you this what does every 12 year most 12 year old males to 21 year old males have all right they got a mom a dad they got um, by the way these aren't black kids these aren't a ghetto kids it looks like to me do you see them no we have parents grandparents siblings aunts uncles cousins relatives friends friends parents all of you with children know what I'm talking about your the kids that your uh, kids play sports and things with their friends become part of your world Right? That's the way it works. When I was raising my kids, we had a circle of parents. Those parents looked after your kids like we looked after their kids. It's the way it works. Uh, in addition to that, they got teachers, they got coaches, they have church ministers. I mean, I know this, all the Christian churches have youth ministers. The Catholic church doesn't. Youth ministers. So you already have that in place. Why in the hell... Do you need this organization for all this stuff, especially when people like Thomas Massey and Republicans are supposed to be, it's the family, it's the strong family. You know, so that's what we should count on. It, in my opinion, is a creepy organization. Now, if you were someone who was involved in that organization and you had this wonderful experience, was never molested or anything weird going on, so be it. Good for you. Guess what? There's people in the Boy Scouts and altar boys that can have that same experience. I wasn't a Boy Scout. I was an altar boy. I was never molested. Never even approached to being molested. So that was my point. And in this day and age, it seems even creepier. I mean, look at me dressed up in robes and wizards and everything else. Now, here is what I thought was really interesting about those people that got all worked up about it. By the way, I'm sorry, my governor's campaign, I'm not a politician. I told you, I'm going to call things as I see them. I'm not going to worry about who I offend or don't offend. Chips fall where they may. But I just want all you Masons to know, I'm not against you. I just think this is a little creepy. And you know who agreed with me? I found this very interesting. Do you know who agreed with me the most? The women. <laughs> the women and by the way a lot of women think you know this is wizardry satanic all that stuff I don't know if it is or not I do know this the women mothers who have that same sense of protection right agreed with me doesn't mean all the women agree with me but I just noticed that the majority of the women were agreeing with me so I wanted to clear the air. By the way, that's the last I'm going to say on. This isn't my main cane pan issue. Are you kidding me? I'm for legalization of cannabis, sports gaming, getting rid of all the taxes except one tax. On and on and on. I've, I've put out over 100 positions and over 200 videos on DeetersForGovernor.com. This isn't my main issue, but it caught my attention. And let me tell you why. I posted it, okay? Thomas Massey, to me, now, I know you guys, Thomas Massey's got his little group out there, but I just want to tell you something. He's always rubbed me the wrong way. There's just something about him I think is odd. By the way, <laughs> I got more to come. I got more to come. His, his, his taxes, financials, where he gets the money, it's pretty darn interesting. But I want to tell you something. Who is in this world? Who is in this world? The type of people in his world. His, Thomas Massey, his field rep, Chris McCann, who is in a relationship with Savannah Maddox, who's running for governor, and Chris McCann told Eric Grinnell by text messages and we posted it, the only reason why she's running is to try to replace Thomas Massey. She's 34, hadn't done anything, and she's mean as hell. Chris Wiest, their lawyer, who is a crook, weird, I mean, 
He's, he's a nasty, weird person, too, you know. Uh, T.J. Roberts, the little minion who has Liberty Wallace and all, all the other fake fake book pages, and is just mean and nasty as can be. Just nasty. Nick Sorga, who commits domestic violence against uh, his fiance, Savannah Maddox's campaign manager. T.J. Roberts was, was inappropriately talking to a young boy in the bathroom at my kickoff at the Oriental Walk. He got kicked out of the place. I mean, these are creepy, weird people, in my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. There's something weird about these people. You know, they're, they're not typical American males, uh, men, man's man, a woman's man. They're, they're not that Trump kind of voter. They, you know, they, they claim to be all Christian, you know, liberty, liberty, and all that. But I'm telling you, there's some weird stuff going on. And to find out that Thomas Massey was in this organization explains a lot to me. I mean, come on, people texting dad. They go, oh, that's what you call him, dad, mom. There's a woman's branch of this, a girl's branch, where they're called princesses and stuff. Really? An organization where they call you mom and dad? That's not creepy to you? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's creepy. It's creepy. Uh, and by the way, I'm getting more and more feedback from people that are saying, you know, Bulldog, you're right about Massey. You're right about Weist. You're right about Maddox. You've opened my eyes. <laughs> I mean, it's just, on. and by the way, why, why do I engage in this? Because of what they've tried to do to me. <laughs> They're mean, nasty enemies. Thomas Massey has endorsed Savannah. Talk about creepy. How many photographs? I mean, how often do you, is Savannah and Massey together all the time? All the time. Chris McCann. Elton never says a word to husband, and Elton looks just like Chris McCann. That's creepy, too. <laughs> I mean, there's some weird stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, have a great day.